Hi everyone, this is Krista with Wasatch Travel. We're gonna be talking about Disney Cruises today. I hope everyone can hear me. This is a new platform for us, so hopefully um, everything will work out. If not, please give me a comment so that I know if uh, you can hear me or not. So in a minute, I'll be bringing in my agent, Nicole. She is um, a Disney fan fanatic, I must say. So um, I love Disney, but Nicole takes it to a whole new level. So in a minute, we'll bring her on. And I do want to let you know that there will be a giveaway. So if you stay till the end, there'll be details on how to do that. And let's bring Nicole on. I can figure this out here. One second. <laughs> Figure this out just one. Hi, Nicole. Let's see if we can hear you. Hello. Can you hear me? Not hear you. Hello. Keep talking while we figure out the technical difficulties for a minute here. Hello. Testing. 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 Can, can we you hear you? Can you hear me now? No, I cannot hear you. Hmm. Can you hear Nicole? Testing. Testing. No. Okay, Nicole. <laughs> cannot hear you. Let me try these. I'll try these and see if it'll work. So we'll we'll take her off for a minute and I'll uh, talk with you for just a few minutes. What was that? You can hear her? Okay, that's me that can't hear her. Let me bring Nicole back on here. Can you hear me now? <clears throat> okay, so they say it's me that cannot hear, so let me figure this out for a minute. Nicole, I'm gonna have you just talk for a few minutes and let everyone know uh, little bit about how you get started uh, booking a Disney cruise or what's included. All right, so we just got back from seven nights on the Disney Fantasy to the Eastern Caribbean. Um, it was amazing. We ported out of Port Canaveral, um, Florida. Um, Disney is an amazing cruise line because there's lots of things that are included. Um, it's a really family friendly cruise line. So um, not only is it family friendly, but they also offer a lot of luxury services for adults. Um, we noticed on the boat, there were lots of like newlywed couples, um, older couples, people without kids as well. Um, so it's just an amazing experience for everybody. Um, let's talk a little bit about what's included uh, on your Disney cruise. Um, so, of course, it is all you can eat of the most luxurious food we've ever had. Um, you think like a Disney ship might just cater to kids and have like Mickey shaped waffles and macaroni and cheese, which they have all of that. But they also have world class um, dining. My husband got to try escargot. Um, he had venison steaks one night, lobster. Um, like, there's something for everyone as far as the dining is concerned. Um, another amazing thing that is included um, with your Disney food is all you can drink soda, water, tea, coffee. Um, so that's a really nice amenity as well. Um, my kids' favorite part, and probably my favorite part, was the all you can eat soft serve ice cream. Um, they have it on deck 11. So if you are swimming or you're doing the aqueduct, you can head on over and get some soft serve ice cream that's included in your, um, in the price of the cruise as well. Another great thing that is included in the price of the cruise is um, the kids club. So they have kids club from all different ages. Um, our daughter Finn loved the kids club. She uh, wanted to stay there all day. We had to convince her to come out of the kids club. 
Um, they do special activities. They had a pajama party. They did a cooking class. Um, so it's just a great way for you to enjoy the cruise as well as your kids to enjoy the cruise um, because you can do some of the extra things uh, while your kids are at the kids club. So that's a great amenity. So, so Nicole, with the um, what's included, like that's different from other cruise ships. Um, so I kind of went over it. One thing that I found that was included that I really liked is all of your soda, um, your coffee, your tea, water, all of that is included. So you don't have to buy an extra soda card or anything like that. You can just, that's complimentary um, on the ship. Um, another thing I kind of already mentioned was the kids club. Um, the amenities at the kids club are just amazing. And Finn made cookies and she did crafts and that was all included. We didn't have to pay extra for those um, activities there. Um, as well as the world-class entertainment, um, we saw Dumbo, we saw um, Endgame, and we also went to quite a few Broadway shows, and those are all included um, in the price of your cruise. Okay, I'm going to show a few pictures that we have here. Let me bring them in. So this is us when you first board the ship. Um, when you're at uh, port, they just take like a fun little picture of you um, right when you get on the boat. So that's kind of fun. Did we lose Krista? Are you there? Can you hear me now? What was that? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, so you took yourself, your husband, and Finn. And how old is she? So Finn is five going on 27. Exactly. Right. <laughs> She's so funny. And then you left the rest of them home. Are they jealous? <laughs> um, the teenagers at this point don't share my love of Disney. I mean, they like Disney, but they're not um, as fanatical about Disney as I am. So, um, yeah, they chose to stay home. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Okay. So what's this picture? Um, so this picture was really fun. Um, Disney does do several themed nights. This is one of them. This is formal night. Um, and they do a captain's reception. And so you um, you go down to the lobby and they have complimentary champagne and fun drinks for the kids. And you just kind of visit with other cruisers and you get to meet uh, the captain of the ship. And it's just a fun night. It's just an excuse to dress up. We We don't really ever dress up. So it was kind of fun for our family to have that opportunity. Oh, that's fun. So Finn, did she love all the characters? Um, Finn, well, Finn and me and I loved all the characters. Um, here's a picture with a uh, cute mini dressed up as a boat captain. Um, and it's kind of nice because each night um, before dinner in the promenade, they will have a variety of characters that you can go down and meet. And so um, there's a good variety. They have the princesses, they have Mickey and Minnie, they had Jack Sparrow, Peter Pan. Um, and so there are a lot of nice meet and greet opportunities. The thing that I liked is that you didn't have to stand in a huge line like you sometimes do at the parks. It's a little, the lines were a little shorter so you could get more pictures and more autographs in a shorter amount of time. Okay, awesome. All right, tell us about the theme night for the pirate night. Um, so Disney does a really fun night on all of their ships and it's called Pirate Night. And they, it is so fun. The entire day, all the activities um, have to do with Pirate Night. They do pirate crafts and pirate shows. And then everybody on the boat dresses up like a pirate. We decided to go full pirate. Um, and then, so when you go to dinner, um, the food is pirate themed. And then after dinner, they put on an amazing um, show up on deck 12. And um, they have a show including Jack Sparrow. They use some of the audience. But the coolest thing is they light fireworks off the boat. I'm trying so, to get the picture here so we can yeah. see that. There so we go. A picture of um, the fantasy has a really cool slide called the aqueduct. And it's off to the side of the boat. So that picture is actually the fireworks going off um, on the side of the boat. And I thought, okay, maybe they'll just light off a couple. 
No, Disney put on a full fireworks show at sea. Um, this picture with the skeleton flag, that's the pirate show as it's going on. Um, and it's up on deck 12 in the open air. So um, definitely a fun night. And then after the pirate show, they have what's called Club Pirate. And it is a family friendly. Um, is it this picture here? Um, let's see. That's the pirate show. I know. Okay. I've got it here. One. Yes. Got to find it here. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. So it's, Talk like about. A, it's a family friendly uh, dance club. And so everybody just after pirate night and it's really fun. Yes. There's the, the icon for it. Um, the cast even comes up in dances and it's just an entire boat party. And then they have an after party at Cabanas, which is the buffet. And so you can go down to Cabanas and get um, appetizers and food after pirate night. So it's a lot, it's a lot of fun. Awesome. And so what did you think of the food on Disney? Um, the food was world class. Um, I'm kind of a foodie. I've eaten at a lot of um, high end restaurants. It's kind of a fun thing that I like to do. Um, the food there was second to none. My husband had escargot, we had lobster, we had crab. Um, they're just there. I can't think of anything that we ate that we weren't 100% satisfied with. Um, the picture that is up right now, we actually ate at Remy's, which is um, the fine dining French restaurant aboard the Fantasy. Um, the idea is it's um, after the movie where um, Remy is the little chef. And so um, this picture that is up is kind of a French inspired dish that we had at Remy's. Um, I would highly recommend um, eating there. It is an extra cost, but it is well worth um, the money. I'm just showing a few more pictures that are just so adorable. <laughs> this is so fun. Oh, so I was just going to, one thing I was going to mention is Disney's portholes are all padded and they have these fun little seats. And so you'll be walking down the halls and they'll just be like kids and adults lounging in the portholes, um, just kind of watching the ocean go by. So I, Finn thought that was super fun. She always wanted to be sitting in a porthole. That's so cute. <laughs> All right. So let's see. I'm trying to find another one that would be fun. All right. What's this? Um, so this is a picture of the screen on the wall at Animator's Palette. And uh, on the Disney ship, you there are four dining restaurants that you rotate through at dinner time. And one of those is Animator's Palette, and it's super fun. They give you a placemat, and you um, draw or color um, whatever you want to. You just have to stay inside the lines um, on this placemat. And then your waiter takes the placemat, um, takes it to the animators, and they make your drawings come alive. Um, we are the worst, like, I'm the worst artist in the world. And so we were, you laugh so hard because it's so fun to see. Um, your different animations come to life. Well, that is something unique. I haven't seen that on any other cruise line. So that's so cool. Yes, so very fun. it seems like Disney has just a lot of fun details. Tell us about this one. Um, so each day you have a room steward and, and he or she comes in your room and takes care of it for you, um, makes your beds, uh, changes linens, that kind of stuff. And so every night when we would come back to the room, um, our steward was amazing and he would make these awesome towel animals. Um, and those are my sunglasses and Finn's uh, Minnie Mouse ears, but <laughs> so cute. every single night we would come back from dinner, Finn would want to run in the room and see um, what kind of towel animal he had made for that night. That is so, just adorable. <laughs> yeah, super fun touch. Okay. Let's see. Trying to find some other fun pictures here. Um, this picture right here was uh, one of Finn's favorite places to be on the ship. It's called the Aqua Lab, and uh, it's up on deck 12. And it's kind of like a little kid's water park. It has all different sorts of things you can play with. Um, it's just a great place for kids to run around and kind of get out of the heat. Um, yeah, just a super fun activity. So did you also, did did she test out the kids club? 
she did test out the kids club a lot and uh, she wanted to stay there at all times. Um, and like I said, one night they did a pajama party. Um, another day they baked cookies. Um, the kids club coordinators are second to none. And let me just tell you, I'm a little bit of a paranoid mom and Disney security for the kids club is amazing. The kids wear bands the entire time they're on the boat. The bands are trackable and traceable. Um, you have to check your children in and out of the kids club. Um, it's just a very secure environment. Um, it makes you feel, um, you know, it makes you feel okay with leaving them there knowing that they're safe and having a good time. Awesome. So there's another character picture. Was was this on the private island or where was this? Yes. Yeah, so this is a Castaway Key. And um, this is right when we get off the boat and Chip and Dale look so cute in their swim gear. So yes, they they, do. <laughs> we wanted to get a picture with them. And so when you get off the boat, um, Disney has a private island, Castaway um, Key. And when you get off the boat, it's like you've just been transported into the most magical island ever. It's perfect in every way. The sand is perfect. The water is perfect. Um, and there's characters in their swim gear that you can do meet and greets with. Um, there's just a lot of fun activities. One of our favorite things is um, they actually have a um, restaurant on the island. It's called Cookies. And you go there and they have prepared this amazing barbecue lunch for you. And so you get to have lunch. They have soft serve ice cream, huge cookies as big as your face. Like, so you can enjoy the beach. Uh, and then you can go have lunch in this amazing outdoor venue. Do you have to pay extra for the food on the private island? No, everything is included on the private island just as it is on the boat. Um, as far as food goes, there are a few extra costs. Um, if you want to rent snorkeling gear, um, it's a minimal cost. They do have like float tubes and these fun little boats you can get in and kind of um, row around the island. So there are a couple of things that cost extra, but for the most part, um, everything is complimentary. And um, the island is fairly large. So they have a tram that you actually get on and the tram drives you around to the island. You can get off at several different stops. It's it's amazing. And you can also reserve cabanas if you do those in advance. Is that correct? Yes, you can reserve cabanas. Um, you do have to do those pretty far in advance because they sell out. The cabanas are amazing. If you get a cabana, you have like a private server. And so they will bring you drinks, um, food. Um, it's great if you had smaller kids or an infant that maybe needed to nap. Um, or a big so, family that could yeah, go back or a big and forth. family that you just wanted to be comfortable and but yes, the cabanas are amazing. Very cool. All right, let's find another one here. Okay, talk. Thing. Oh, I just wanted to mention one more thing about Kasui Key. Um, if you do go and you do not have kids with you, they do have an adult only beach. Um, I just wanted to mention that. And it also has its own restaurant. Um, it's all complimentary, but it's a great place to just enjoy some quiet time um, without your kiddos. Awesome. So it's not just for kids. The adults can have just as much fun. Yes. Yes, for sure. Okay. So let's see. This is another one with the crew. Was this? Yes. This is like Finn's dressed up again. <laughs> yes. Finn is dressed up. She dressed up like a princess pretty much every night at dinner. Um, one thing I have to tell you about the Disney ships is um, their crew is world class. Um, in this picture, you'll see Mataja and Donnie. Mataja was our main um, server. And so every night you have the same server. And so Mataja knew that I like Diet Coke with no lemon, that, you know, the drink that Sean wanted. Um, Donnie was the assistant server. And so he took care of Finn and he knew that Finn wanted apple juice every night. Um, one night I was blown away. Finn had ordered a steak from the kids menu and I looked over and Donnie was cutting up her steak for her. And the next day he cut up her pancakes for her. Like the service that they give you is just so amazing. And by the end of the, the cruise, they become your friends. Um, and it's hard to leave them. 
So yeah, you really don't get that kind of service on other cruise lines. As much as I love cruising, you don't get that where they cut up your food and just really. Yeah, they just really pay care attention. To your, yeah, to your children. Um, Donnie had made Finn paper airplanes. He made her little um, toys out of napkins. They just really entertain your kids while you're eating so that you can kind of have um, a relaxing dining experience. Um, and have your kiddos there as well. So that to me is priceless. Uh, we really enjoyed that. That's awesome. I just love these. I love the pictures with the princesses. How fun is that? Did you have to sign up for um, to be able to have the, the photo shoots with the princesses or are they just wandering around? So there's a couple different things. Um, you can sign up for special meet and greets. Um, and those are complimentary, but you do have to sign up for them in advance. However, these um, these two images are just right before dinner. You just head down to the um, main area and the princesses are just waiting there. And so um, it's really nice because you don't have to make reservations. You don't have to plan ahead um, if you don't want to. There's lots of opportunities on the ship to be had, you know, just last minute. And so we really enjoyed that aspect. Very cool. I just love your pictures. They're just so fun. I could just sit here and scroll through them all day. So um, let's we're kind of going to wrap this up. So why should someone sell on Disney? Um, I feel like Disney, uh, of course, I'm biased because I love Disney everything. But I truly do feel like Disney has something for everyone. Um, I feel like their inclusions are so vast. Like a lot of the things that you um, have to pay extra for on other cruise lines um, are included on Disney. Um, one thing that really, really stood out to me is the cleanliness of their ship. You, I mean, these ships are immaculate. They're very classy. They're very well taken care of. Um, and to me, when you have kids on a ship, cleanliness, you know, that, that means a lot. Um, everything is well taken care of. The, the staterooms, one thing I really liked about that that's different than other ships is um, in the staterooms, the bathrooms are separated. So you have a shower and a vanity in one room, and then you have a toilet and a sink in another room. So if you're cruising with kids, there's lots of space to get ready. I feel like the staterooms are a little roomier than some of um, the other cruise ships. Um, if you're taking kids with you, the op, I mean, just the experience, there's just nothing like a Disney cruise, um, with little ones or even, you know, teenagers, there's something for every age. Um, uh, one thing I wanted to address, if you don't mind is, can you tell us about the fish extenders? Oh, yes. Okay. So this is kind of a fun little secret. Uh, when you go on a Disney cruise, there are these fun metal fish and they're outside each door. Um, and something fun that you do is um, it's called the fish extender um, program. And there's usually Facebook groups for your sailing. And what happens is let me grab my fish extender. I'll give you an example. OK, so this is my fish extender and you can see it kind of hangs on a dowel and then it has these fun little pockets. Okay, and hold it up there a little slower, if you don't yeah, mind. You can kind of, you can kind of see. Sorry, my office is so. Kind of can we think of this as like an advent calendar, sort of <laughs> a stocking? <laughs> what is this? Yes, yeah, it's kind of a, it's kind of a stocking situation. So what happens is, um, you you take this fish extender on the boat with you, um, you sign up on these Facebook groups, and usually the fish fish extender groups are groups of five families. So what you do is you take five gifts um, that are kind of Disney themed and the other families take five gifts that are Disney themes. And throughout the cruise, you trade these gifts with other families. And so like our room number was 5164. So everyone knew that the Robinses were in room 5164. So while we were gone during the day, they would bring these adorable treats and put them in our fish extender um, and so when Finn would come back from lunch or dinner, here are all these fabulous treats and toys stuffed in this fish extender. And so every day you come back to your room, it's like a fun little surprise full of treats. 
Can um, you show it to us again? I just want to yeah, get a better yeah, look let me at show it. You one more time. It's low. So you can kind of see. So it hangs on a hook. Yep. It hangs on a hook outside your door. Yep. And then each. And pocket, did you make this? Um, so a really good friend of mine made it for me, but um, they're readily available on Etsy. So um, okay. if you're going on a Disney cruise and you wanted to get one, um, you could get it from Etsy. Um, the other fun thing is a lot of people on the Disney cruise will just bring random gifts. And so they'll just walk by your room and they'll they'll put like um, a toy or something in your fish extender and it will have a little tag that just says pixie dust from, you know, the family's name and then the family's room number. So it's something that's kind of special on a Disney cruise. And Finn just thought that was like the funnest thing in the world. So this is optional, right? You don't have to participate in it. No, this is completely optional. Um, another thing that's really um, fun on the Disney Cruise is everybody decorates their doors. I don't know. I think I sent you a picture of our door, but um, the doors on the Disney ships are metal. And so um, magnets will stick to them. So it's so fun to walk down the halls and you'll just see all the different doors decorated with fish extenders and magnets. And um, so it's just really fun. Okay, I'll try to find that while um, you talk about it. So you feel like by participating in that, that you're getting pixie dusted along the way? <laughs> just an extra yeah. fun thing to add to your trip or what? Yeah, it's just an extra fun thing to add to your trip. Um, Disney fans are very passionate about everything. And so you just get all these amazing people who are very giving. Um, some of the gifts we received, like we received a hand carved magnet um, of the fantasy of the boat and somebody had like hand carved and homemade this magnet. Um, and so you just, people are just so fun and you receive uh, these adorable gifts. And it's just kind of a fun way to connect with um, your fellow cruisers on the boat. Okay. Awesome. So a couple things about Disney. Does Disney do groups? Um, Disney does not do groups per se. Um, they have, so they do and they don't. But one thing that you will notice when you go on a Disney cruise is you will see a lot of multi-generational families. Yes, um, I've booked several of those and that's a, yeah, such a fun yeah. way for the grandparents to take everyone yes. in their family on a cruise and everybody's happy everyone loves them yes yeah, so they do do groups and it's a lot of times like you said it's a grandma and a grandpa and grandkids and you just see all these cute large families and like matching shirts and you know there's 20 family members and uh they always just look like they're having a super good time awesome so how do we get how do we book um so if you were interested in booking a disney cruise you could contact um, me, uh, Nicole at wasatchtravel.com, or you could contact Krista. Um, and both of us are very, um, we know a lot about Disney, a lot about the Disney Cruise Line, and we would be happy to answer any of your questions. Um, people don't realize how complicated cruising can be. Um, so it really helps to have, yeah, it really helps to have a travel planner um, because we've been on these ships, we we know the ins and outs. And so um, we can help you put a cruise together, uh, you know, just easily and take the stress out of trying to plan and uh, just give you some advice, some valuable advice um, so that you go into the cruise knowing what to expect. And you don't miss out on these fun things such as a fish extender um, and just, uh, yeah, some of the stuff that uh, goes on on the ship that you're not aware of. Awesome. So we have a fun giveaway and we're going to leave this up. Um, you can enter until Monday. So if you go to wasatchtravel.com on the homepage there, there is enter our giveaway and there's two giveaways going on right now. So we have a giveaway for three nights stay in Maui. And you, if you enter and stay on our mailing list at the end of the year, then we give away a three night stay in Maui. But if you enter between now and Monday, then you can also be entered into a $100 gift card for a Disney cruise or a Disneyland vacation, um, something Disney related. So make sure you go to wasatchtravel.com 
and it's on the home page. It'll be under the Enter the Maui Giveaway. There's also a comment that you could put in there and just say Entering Disney um, Giveaway. And if you've already, if you're already on our mailing list, just also leave a comment that says already on the mailing list. That way that we know that you can enter both of the contests. Yeah, and who doesn't want free Disney stuff, right? That's exactly. Like, or a free trip, I mean, three nights in Maui, that's not bad either. Not bad, my favorite place. Yeah. So, well, thanks, Nicole. It's been fun having you on. Nicole is one of our agents here at Wasatch Travel, and we're happy to have any of you help with any kind of trips, you can give us a call 435-709-8656. Thanks, Nicole. Thanks, Christelle. We'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye.